is to activate it. AF1, and we are the Futuritarians. First and foremost, I'm going to say peace, power, and soul. This video is going to be on quantum activation. This video is going to be on quantum activation. Once again, this video is going to be on quantum activation. So what are you activating? You're activating the minds. Because when you're dealing with junk DNA, like they say it's junk DNA, they call it junk for a reason. Well, why do they call it junk, AF1? They call it junk because they don't want to, they don't want you to look at that missing strain as something that is precious. Something that can be activated to send certain people back into the future. Now, when you're dealing with this picture right here, you see the circle, you see the circle, and then you see the middle of the circle. And what's that? That is a multi-quasar. That's what that is. That's a multi-quasar, right? Because the ones that's not going to be stuck in a circle, they're going to still shoot out and go into what? A one. Because if you look at those lines, that's shooting out the middle of this uh, uh, quantum sphere. They're shooting out of it. They're not being a part of the hamster wheel. They're not being a part of the hamster wheel. So you're dealing with quantum, quantum physics and also quantum activation because the junk DNA that they, they've been pushing for years. They've been pushing the junk DNA, calling it junk. No, it's just certain people's going to tap in, certain people won't. That junk DNA could be activated. I'm calling it junk DNA because that's what is on Google, dealing, dealing with uh, Siri, Google, and Alexa. So that's what people know it as, as junk DNA. But really, it's just activated, activated hidden DNA. Activated hidden DNA. Because when you're dealing with, look how many ga uh, uh, galaxies, stars that are in the universe. When you're dealing with trillions of stars, billions of galaxies, it takes all that to get a couple of people into the future. All that. You know what the third dimension is? The third dimension is basically <clears throat> an activation field and also a playground. It's a playground. Remember when you was a kid, you used to go to the playground, you used to play on the swings, the slide, you used to do all that uh, simple minded stuff. That's what the third dimension is. It's a playground. It is a test. This is a test from the emergency galactical system. This is only a test. Ooh, remember that? Remember that? Dealing with the quantum realm. See this realm, this realm right here, if you was to tap into it, and some people are tapping into it, but when they get there, then it's just, it's too much power. It's too much power there. So then they tap out, they get scared. And they tap out because they're not, they're not worthy of being there. But they'll tap in, but they're not worthy of being there. So that's why when you're dealing with the when you're dealing with the light codes, the light codes that are shooting out. Right? You're dealing with the light codes that are shooting out. Galactical code system. See, when you're dealing with the galactical code system, I have to say this in every video because people they they understand, but then they're not taking it in and applying it to the activation because everything on this planet is about activation. Now, when you're dealing with activation, right? So say like you got cancer, you got cancer. Now they got to do chemotherapy. So what they got to do, they have to activate the, um, the chemotherapy to try to get rid of your cancer. Everything's about activation on this planet in this, in this 3D realm. What happens when you have to go, or what happens when another country invades a, um, um, 
a country invades a country, right? Who, who do you activate? You activate the military. They get activated. They have to go defend. Everything's about activation. You know, can't nobody argue about that. You know, I was going to do a video Saturday. I said, I'm going to do this real quick video because everything's about activation. See, some of y'all, some of y'all might have. Some of y'all might have got the jab. See, but now, little do you know, the jab can be activated. The jab can be activated. That's why we be sitting around here just laughing because, you know, somebody come around us, you come around us, you know, and you're an agent. They just going to activate the jab. That's how serious this get. Serious. What is serious? The, the serious star system. That's why when they say that this virus is serious, this is a serious virus. Yeah. Because allegedly, I always got to say allegedly, man, because these videos are starting to get deep. Allegedly, it came from the serious star system because this is going to keep rolling regardless. This is going to keep rolling regardless. Dealing with quantum physics. Tapping into the quantum realms. Multicolor spectrum. <clears throat> dealing with the multicolor sp spectrum. See, when you're dealing with the um, the so-called, um, you know, they got the gay flag. When they, they took all those colors and they, they, they try to make it gay. Dealing with the multi multicolor spectrum. They try to make that and make it gay. Well, that's fine. What you're pushing because all those colors are or um, they're a color galactical code system. All those colors mean something. It means something for the future. It means something. So that's why they're gonna push it on, um, I forgot that movement, what was the LTGB community, whatever that is. That's why they took it and gave it to them because they were, they were actually trying to push the multicolor spectrum under the rug where it was not dealing with activation and it started dealing with homosexuality. That's why they had did that dealing with the quantum realm. Cause when you tap into these upper dimensions, I'd be going to the upper dimensions. I tap into all the, all the dimensions that can be seen, seen through what the light, the speed of light. So tapping in from the 13th dimension and down, the 13th dimension and down is what you can tap into. That's why when you're dealing with some of these people that's down here at the time, at this day and time, and people are down here, they're tapping into the fifth dimension, sixth dimension, eighth dimension, ninth dimension. They're tapping in, but because they're not in the 13th dimension going into the 14th, 14th dimension, they, they have to tap out. Because it's too much for them because they're not at the source. The source is the 13th dimension. We're going into the 14th dimension. The source is the 13th dimension. What is that? The 13th equals the four. When you add up one and three, what do you have? You got four. So then the 14th dimension is rolling in. And what is that? That's the five. When you're dealing with the five. But when you separate it, it's the ones that are tapping into the four, because once you tap into the fourth dimension, then you could tap into the other dimensions if you're worthy of it. If you're worthy of it, because everybody's not going to be worthy of gathering, coming together and building a council. They're not. They're not going to be worthy of it. Dealing with that movie Ant-Man. That movie Ant-Man, they showed you the quantum realm in that movie. That's why it's so funny because they showed him popping into the quantum realm and what? Manipulating the, the, the 3D realm. So in that movie, he said when he went to the quantum realm, he was there for like, I, don't quote me on this, but he was there for like, like 40 years or something or 50 years. But when he was in the quantum realm, it was like, uh, 10 seconds. It was like a minute. He was in the quantum realm for, for a minute, but when he came back to the 3D realm, he was already like 40 years older. Because the quantum realm, it moves so fast. It moves It moves fast. It is, the quantum realm is a, a, um, 
a, a realm that keeps speeding up faster than a 3D realm. So that's why I, I, I had to say something about Ant-Man because it was so funny when I was watching that movie. I'm sitting here watching that movie. And I'm like, oh, well, he went to the quantum realm. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's over with. Join us as we explore the world of quantum computers and AI, their revolutionary potential, and the shocking warning from Michio Kaku. Quantum computers are exceptional computers that revolutionize computing by operating on the principles of quantum mechanics. Unlike classical computers that use bits to store and process information, quantum computers utilize quantum bits, which are commonly called qubits. While classical bits can only be in two states, zero or one, qubits possess the incredible ability of superposition. This means that a qubit can exist in multiple states simultaneously, representing both zero and one at the same time. In 2001, a group of scientists at IBM achieved a major breakthrough. They successfully demonstrated the concept of quantum computing by using nuclear magnetic resonance to control qubits. Think of it as an eureka, moment in the world of science. This achievement showed that quantum computation was not just a wild idea, but something that could actually work. It lit a fire under researchers, pushing them to progress even more. As time went on, scientists made incredible strides in developing stronger and more reliable qubit systems. They explored different types of qubits, like superconducting circuits and trapped ions, each with its own set of advantages and challenges. They were trying out different tools in a quantum toolbox to see which worked best. All these advancements paved the way for the construction of increasingly powerful quantum computers. The number of qubits kept growing, allowing for more complex calculations and simulations. It's like going from a basic calculator to a supercomputer. Later in 2013, something great happened. Google and NASA joined forces to create a quantum computer called the D-Wave 2. A logical purpose of the 13th dimension, 11,111 to the 111 power, asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. More gateways uh, for us to walk through and collectivize, extract and pull intelligence as conduits of conduits of omnipower of all power the omni source when we come together as the all as the all source more so as the omni source that's where we come together and really um, embody the true solar g as a neutron star as that neutron star that is neutral and we are new trays that's what's happening in the 12th dimension and we cast our radiance our power our intelligence which is like the transformers or the voltroning we are casting our energy and power through the 11th dimension because we, we've gone from 13 to 12 now to the 11th dimension where we're casting our radiance our intelligence our um, diverse power through the uh that that blank space that that black space but they show in the big bang theory that's that that blank area before you have the lights and creations that are coming um, on the other side of that blank space which would be the void of creation which everything's being created which is on the other side of that blank space so so we said that, that blank space of the 11th dimension would be like a blank screen but there's power going through that blank screen so it's not blank what people with, with the creations or what we are seeing um, from the 11th dimension looking up from the lower dimensions looking up to the 11th dimension all we're seeing is, is, is a source power radiance brightness power so going into the topic today at hand the 13th dimension where we are as we're saying we were once in 3d and we have made that quantum leap into the 13th dimension or 13d which is what a parallel to what we're doing in which we did go from 3d to 4d we went as a parallel from 3d to 4d that's why in our 13d cells then with the one and three being the fourth dimension they are further evolving into or building the 14th dimension which that's basically another space for elevated intelligence that's going to be talked about and broken up but that's not really a earth dimension it's a space outside of the earth prism prisons because we further have escaped or broken out of the uh the soul tanks 
because each dimension is a soul tank it's a harvesting tank it's a harvesting tank to uh, or a cultivating tank to power up those souls uh, as they are ascending as they are transforming and transferring out outwardly until they can get to the point of 13d or get to yeah, the point of where we break out that is the gateway so the logical purpose of the 13th dimension is for it to be the gateway out of the earth dimensions pretty much and that's what we are receiving that's that's what i've pulled in i've never heard again you heard it first once more you've mm -hmm. heard it you you've heard it first here by the united vegetarians on the date friday august 5th 2022 so just more just to bring it forth just more clarity and more reality to uh, those uh hungry or those activated souls and activated mm -hmm. minds mm -hmm. who want to evolve and move forward so we're moving forward we obviously in the mega stand that the 13th dimension now is truly the gateway out of the earth prism prison or the earth the earth dimension or the earth diamond because diamonds have dimensions crystals crystals diamond diamonds have dimensions that's why it's dimension so we're breaking out of a diamond and going into the oh that's why we're talking about we said before shout out to brother af1 he talked about how the diamond it represents physical so we're, we're leaving the diamond aka the physical plane to go into the the crystal phase or the the mental or, or the mind the mind phase the unseen phase which is basically uh the aspect of us not being able to touch and see the particles such as electrons photons protons and black matter leptons and tachyon particles we can't we can't see them but they can touch us but we can't touch them as far as recognizing you know but it's it's just like that aspect of how we're going to be untouchable or we've always been untouchable that's why we've come this far and have been able to shift things forward from the top down from the soul mind down from beyond the soul down to the soul then mm -hmm. to the mind down so peace power soul elevated activation 